tell us a little bit about uh, the book. Okay. So Crash and Burn is the story of Nikki Frank. At the opening of the novel, she's been in this terrible car accident, and she is clawing her way up to the top of a ravine, desperate to get help for her missing girl, Vero. Um, except then her husband arrives and says that there is no child, there's never been a child. Nikki Frank has simply taken one too many blows to the head. She's had three accidents in six months, that's it. Except, of course, the police are wondering what kind of woman has three accidents in six months? And is Thomas Frank telling the truth? And to understand more, you'll have to read Crash and Burn. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you get the idea for this book? Um, there's a very timely issue right now in the United States. It's just been made into a major movie starring Will Smith for the American footballers. So not soccer, but actual tackle football. We are beginning to understand that there's long-term consequences of that, and it's called post-concussive syndrome. And I was fascinated by this notion that could someone like Nikki Frank, she doesn't know herself anymore. There are things she thinks she remembers, but maybe that's just the concussion. Tell us a little bit about how you develop the plots. Uh, yes. So in the case of Crash and Burn, all books come to me as a puzzle. And that's a riddle I want to solve. So I had this idea already for a woman who, you know, who's been in an accident, who has a child who may or may not exist. So my next step then is to go to local police. So in this case, because I'm doing a Wyatt book, who is a small town or a county detective, I have a friend who is a county detective, so I went to him. If you had a situation where you have a woman who's reporting a child who's missing, but her husband says there's no child, that she's just suffered an injury, what can you do? You know, for, in real world policing terms, do you even have a case? Can you even launch an investigation? So he's the one who gave me the idea to open with a car crash. He's like, we cannot investigate the suspicion of accidents. We need something tangible. So it's like, if you start with that, then we have a reason to be part of the book. Now, the magic for me in plotting, because I don't know the answer to my riddle, and I don't want to see too far ahead, is I then like to create characters like Nikki Frank, who's uncertain. We don't really know what's going on with her. She doesn't know what's going on with herself. Then I created her husband who in some chapters you think, oh my gosh, what an amazing guy. And other chapters you're like, oh, he's really creepy. <laughs> <laughs> and now that I have characters where I myself don't know where they're going, you kind of let it all then progress on its own. So it's this alchemy, kind of a mixture of planning and research and working with law enforcement and then letting your characters run amok. <laughs> I was wondering, uh, the title is a bit ironic, thinking your husband is a racer uh, yes. <laughs> for a hobby. Yes. Uh, he, he races for a hobby. As uh, my husband races in the summertime, a Honda CRX, and as the official sponsor of his race car, each year we, do, we take the cover of the book <laughs> and we blow it up into a big poster and we put it on his car but he wasn't so excited to have crash and burn <laughs> <laughs> all over his car. So we did a much smaller, smaller version. <laughs> <laughs> and he, uh, next time he wanted to have a saying <laughs> yeah, yeah, in the title, yeah. right? Uh, yeah.